Hi, this is Jimmy from The Productive Engineer. And a quick question for my Todoist users. Do your projects look like this? Basically a long list of tasks, maybe in order, maybe not, but just a, a mountain of various tasks with no real organization or structure and really hard to look at, especially when you have to scroll down to see them all. And just no organizational structure whatsoever. Well, if they do look like this, then this video is for you because this video is all about how to create sections to parse out your task based upon the type of task that it is or the type of uh, phase in the project that it is. And what this allows you to do is to really simplify and really make your project look less daunting by breaking it up into sections. And that's what we're going to show you in this video. So stay tuned. Now, before we get started, if you like this video, please click the like button. It really helps out my channel. It really shows YouTube that this channel is worth watching. If you want to see more videos from me, please click the subscribe button as that will, that will allow you to see all my videos. So the channel is all about how to use tools like Todoist, Notion, and other tools to get work done more efficiently. So if you're using any of these tools, you really should be subscribed to my channel because if there's a question that you have about the tool, there's a strong likelihood that I have a video about it, or I might even have a beginner's guide like for Todoist, for example. I have a Todoist beginner's guide video, which you should check out, I'll link it above. And it takes you from not knowing anything about Todoist to the end of it, you'll be able to do pretty much anything you need to do in Todoist. And I highly recommend if you're just starting out with Todoist, or if you're just looking to brush up on your skills, I recommend you check that video out. And lastly, if you, uh, want to uh, be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. Thanks. Okay, let's get started. So as you can see, we have our test project in here and it's just a horrible mess of tasks. And Todoist, uh, a little while back, introduced a capability called sections, which allows you to break up your projects into subsections. So what we're gonna do is, the way you can create that is to come over here to the ellipse, open up your project by clicking on it in the left panel and coming over here to the ellipses here on the upper right hand corner, you're gonna press that and there's an add section button that you can hit here. I'm gonna hit add section, I'm gonna say pre-planning as a section title. And I come here to add section and my section's at the bottom. So let's say I wanna assign some tasks to this project, to this set project section, excuse me. What I can do is simply drag one, so I can have a kickoff, take this kickoff call one, because that seems like something that would happen in the beginning of our project. And I can drop it down right in here. You see how it's turning black? I can just drag that right in there. And now that's part of the, that project. If I don't want to have to drag everyone, so I might I, I might now want to drag them all. I just might, might want to add it here. I can actually go to more task actions. I can click move the project. And when I do that, I can actually not only move it, it knows it's already in the test project, but it'll list the individual sections within that project. So I guess in this case, we have pre-planning. I can click that. And then as you can see, when I come down here, now that is down there as well. So you can do that depending on how many tasks you have and where you are. Those, those are the two primary ways you can do it. There's actually a third way, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay, so let's say I wanted to create a new task uh, to, from outside my project but it's tied to my pre-planning. So I might have something else here like create sample diagrams, something generic. And I hit pound. And one of the cool things here, pound or hash, whatever you call it. And then what, not only can I assign it to my test project, but because it knows I already have a section, it lists my sections here. I can just click, go directly to pre-planning and it assigns both the project and the section, which is a really, cool shortcut if you're using to do is to sort of you try to rapid fire these tasks into the various places they're supposed to go into your various projects and the various sections inside those projects and you're just sort of brain dumping it's a quick and easy way of sort of just getting them there i can click add task and then when i go back to my test project scroll to the bottom you can see create sample diagrams is there now i'm going to show you something that Let's see what happens if you're in your inbox, just again, brain dumping um, things and you hit add task. You say, I want to create something for, um, have mid project meeting. And I want to create something for, uh, in my test project, right? So I select my test project there so I can see that my project's assigned. 
but I want to create a new section called quality control. Notice when I try to type control, when I hit that space, I'm going to do it again, slash quality. It tells me I can create a section, it says in section not found create quality, but watch what happens when I hit space. It goes away. Even the, that, does that mean that you can't have sections with multiple words in them in spaces? No. But what it does mean is that you can't shortcut create a new one with multiple words unless you use like an underscore between the words. So what I would do here is I could create something instead that says quality. So let's do quality and I'll do underscore control just so you can see that you can have two words with an underscore. I can create that one. I can hit add task and go back to my project, go down to the bottom and you can see quality underscore control is here. Uh, and I really hate that. So what I want to do is I want to edit my section and <laughs> I'm just going to go back and take that out, make that a two word proper and hit save. And as you can see, you can have a space in there, but not when you define it directly like that. So the last thing I want to do is I'm going to go off camera for a second and sign these to various projects, save you the test, just so you can see what this looks like, sort of the after picture. You saw the before picture, which was pretty tough to look at. So you can see the after picture. So give me one second and we can come right back. Okay, and we're back. So as you can see off camera, I went off and built a bunch of sections here. And I think you can safely say that this is a much cleaner way of work looking at it. One of the cool things you can do is let's say I'm focused only on pre-planning. I can actually close these by clicking this little carrot that's next to the, the name of the section. Close them all up. And now I'm just focused on the things I have to do in this section, which is really cool. Let's say complete that or whatever. I want to look at planning instead. I can just open that one up, et cetera, et cetera, which makes it much cleaner. And if I'm just starting the day, I can just look at it like this and then like, okay, I know I'm in this phase. So I'll just go look at that real quick and I'm going to see, you know, work on these five tasks or parse them out or whatever. So to me, it makes it much cleaner and simpler to use and really, <laughs> It, it reduces my stress when I look at to do it. So sometimes I get crazy. I put, you know, again, talk about brain dumping tasks into to do list. And a lot of times I end up with 30, 40, 50 different things. Some things are way off in the future. Some things are right away. Some for this project, some for that project, some for no project. They're just sort of like things I just want to get done. And by the time I get all of them sort of into various projects, if I don't have a structure like sections, it just it's just a mess. And it's really... When I look at this long list of things I want to do, the longer the list, the less likely I want to do them because I'm going to feel stressed about it. By breaking them up into sections and just looking at individual sections, I can just look at like kind of pre-planning. I see I got six things I got to do, uh, five things if I learn how to count, <laughs> five things I need to do in the pre-planning stage. It actually tells me the number there. There's really no excuse for me not knowing it. But anyway, yeah, so I have five things I have to do and it's a lot less daunting than having to look at everything that I have for that project. So again, I highly recommend if you're an avid user of projects inside of Todoist that you're breaking your project tasks up into sections, it will help you. It also, one of the cool things you can do is you can create templates out of Todoist and you know you can include, if you have a project template that includes the sections that you are gonna have in that, you can actually create that template with the sections and then import it. And that'll save you a ton of time. Have sort of a you know repeatable process for every project you do, rather than create you know create it from scratch every time. You can just import that with your sections and just you know, even pre-populate with a bunch of the common tasks for every project. And the only thing you have to add is things that might be different for this particular project. Well. I hope this video was helpful to you. Again, if you like this video, please click the like button. It really does help out my channel. If you want to see more of my videos and you know learn more about apps like Todoist, Notion, Evernote, the Google Docs Suite, or any other apps, you should be subscribed to my channel. That's all I talk about here. I mentioned that earlier. So hit that subscribe button. And lastly, if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. Thanks.